by moat. Apparently, it's stupid AI. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. I mean, uh, in, in a very interesting way, it's not there yet, but the question is when will it get to super intelligence is what most AI developers will not talk Isn't about. Isn't it stupid, though, to think right now that it's stupid? Absolutely. I mean, in, in, the, 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 when, we, when we met last time, I told you that Chad GPT today is 155 IQ. That's compared to Einstein at 160. But the stupidity comes from the types of intelligence, because when you really understand that intelligence is not just IQ, you need EQ, emotional intelligence or empathy. You need uh, you know, creativity, mm -hmm. intuition, and so on. And AI today is being developed by a bunch of very masculine developers sitting somewhere talking about IQ, IQ, IQ. And when you really think about it, what destroyed our world or got us to where we are today in climate change and other topics is that we're de so dependent on IQ and we have no empathy to the planet, no empathy to other beings. It's, uh, it's put that on steroids and we could be in a very dangerous place. John Lani, in a recent survey, 42% of CEOs said AI could destroy humanity in five to 10 years. I mean, do you share anything like that kind of view if it got out of hand? Well, it wouldn't be AI destroying humanity. It would be us destroying ourselves. Like the, the real issue is whether we become stupid. And unfortunately, we can use computer software to make ourselves stupid. We do it on social media all the time, every day. Uh, and, you know, really all AI is, at least the kind of AI that we're building now, is a mashup of what people put into it. Uh, one person puts in a picture of a cat, another person puts in a certain style of painting, and you say, can I get that cat as painted by that person? And that's the kind of thing we can do. And that's great. It has a lot of uses. Um, but the danger is that we perceive it as being much more than that, and we put, uh, indeed, a stupid thing in control. And, you know, my response to Nick Clegg is that a stupid adversary can be much more dangerous than yeah. a smart adversary, you yeah. know? And so just saying, talk about whether it's stupid or smart in a way doesn't help us, you know? Like, that's not the main issue. The question is, are we stupid or smart? And um, I'm a little concerned that we're just giving, we're creating this, almost like this religion of, around AI as this new super being. And I think doing that makes us stupid. I think that's the core of the problem. What should we be doing then with AI? How should we be positioning it, treating it? Well, I think we should look at the real scenarios for harm that are possible. And the one right now that I think is the most likely is not so much that the AI will break out of a jail and take over all the weapons and kill us, which we've seen in the movies many times, like in the Terminator movies. Um, I think the greater danger is that we'll overwhelm ourselves with deep fakes and nonsense and personally tailored propaganda, maybe at a crucial moment when we can least afford it. Um, I, I, I hate to say this, but like the scenario that really bugs me is that um, we currently have a situation where the main social media platform that young people use is called TikTok, and it's ultimately controlled by China. Mm. And I don't want to lose myself to paranoia over China. Uh, but it is true that there's a plausible scenario where we end up in a, a, a conflict with them. And if that day comes, they'll have all this data about every all the kids of key people in the military and industry and government, their, the interiors of their homes. It's not quite economic yet to do it, but before too long, they might be able to create massive highly uh, personalized and tailored deep fakes that just um, yeah. stress everyone out. And yeah. then you lose 20 minutes until you figure out it's a fake, but that's the crucial 20 I minutes. Think that's, I think you're spot on because TikTok is the number one news source now for most young people. 